Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Freaking right I am. Today on the show, we're going to get ourselves another free sewing machine here. This one has a cabinet voice. Grandma's needs some work, and it's not the best machine. So we're gonna go get an old school, flip out of the desk, hardcore steel, built like a tank, sewing machine we are. And we'll have to see how it works. I forgot my mom gave it to my aunt years and years ago and my aunt's not using it so she said hey Bill come on over and get this song Beaver and you can have it and I said to myself decent freaking right dude so don't forget to leave your comments below like subscribe and all that good stuff if you like girl girl just spitting like a boy she is you dirty you little dirty but anyways let's get over here get this baby loaded up and take a rip home and I'll bring you along with me tonight. Freaking right, I will. I'll be nice for once. How exciting. This is going to be an awesome video. This is going to go viral. Everyone, well, we're home. And we got the old relic cabinet here we do. Boys, girls, peoples, when I open this thing up, I'll tell you one thing. Sure brought back a lot of memories. I do remember this machine from when I lived at home a long time ago when I was a little lad. I'm 46 years old and I can remember this machine from, I don't know, maybe six or seven years old. This machine's... Pushing 40 years old. <laughs> it's probably over 40 years old. We'll look the serial number up and we'll check it out. But the thing still works like it's brand new. <laughs> like, look at it. Hey, look at the foot pedal. It's steel, boys. Hey, no plastic there. Frig, no, there's not. So let's get this thing opened up and I'll show you an antique that works. Boys, don't forget to leave that like button for the friggin' antique sewing machine with those. Hey, why wouldn't you? Frank, I don't blame you. Look at it. So that opens that, opens that, tips up, and then ready for this, boys? Hold your horses, eh? Oh my god! The machine is all the way. She's all the way. She is. Look at that. Everything is manual on this thing. Even reverse. You gotta push up the dial to go reverse, you do. Sew stitches all manual. Friggin' bobbin. Needle positioning, center, left, right. Like boys, look at the friggin' spool. This thing is friggin' decent. Look at the look at the on button. Hey, light on, boys. Friggin' right it is. Hey, listen. Still works. Friggin' right it does. So let's get a uh, bobbin wound up here, and we'll give her a freaking try for the video here. Why wouldn't we? You want to see what's going on, don't you? How's that? Is that okay? <laughs> there you start. Let me bring you up a little bit. There you go. How's that look? Can you see? Friggin' right, you can. So let me get. So let me get. So let me get something that goes on top. I am missing the two little doodads, so I'm just gonna use a drill bit tailor for now. A little drill bit action. And we're gonna go with um, the white we are. So slap some white on here, like so. I've never used this machine, so you're gonna have to bear with me. So by the looks of it, this probably goes down like this and up to the bobbin like that. That's what I'm thinking, but you know what? I might have enough white on a bobbin here. I got enough white right here. So we don't even have to fill a bobbin up. So that's a good thing. So we can take that off there like that. And look at this, watch this. Oh, can you see that? Probably not. Look at that, boys. <laughs> look at it. Will you look at it? That's full steel everything right there. So I'm guessing it goes through here, down here like this. Probably goes around here like this somewhere. Probably goes up and around here like that. Oh my gosh, boys. Then it goes through this loop, through this loop, through that loop. And it looks like it goes through this loop. I don't know, I can't see. There's a loop here, so let's get her through it just in case. Oh, okay, so we just gotta go. There we go, that, well, that makes sense. I was dicker, boys, I was doing it wrong. And then we gotta go through the needle, which should be the easy part for this guy, because I'm blind. Where's the hole, boys? Eh. Eh. We're in trouble here. I can't even see the friggin' hole. Ah. Oh my god, that hole's small. Ooh, nothing like a small hole, boys. I think I get a little hairy hairy dicking me over, I do. I think I got it, boys. Friggin' right, I do. There it is. We got it through the needle. So we'll throw that back here like this, and then we're gonna manually do this bobbin thing because. I'm not too sure how this bobbin thing works. Oh, it's, oh, 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 what happened? Something's happening, boys. Hold on, 
We got our deck. So pull this back out for a minute and I gotta figure out which way this goes. It goes in like this and then there's a little groove here. It probably goes in like that. And now let's try her. Nope, did it wrong again. I might need a manual for this one. I've never seen a sewing machine like this before. Oh, it grabbed something. Oh, here we go. Oh, what's happening now, boys? Still didn't work. We'll figure this out because that's what I do. All right, so we got her. Basically, you have to use the plastic bobbins that the machine originally come with, with the smooth edge you do, hey? It's got a little ramp on it. And there's a little spring down here that you gotta feed the thread back through it and click it over and pull it this way and then shut the lid, boys. That's all there is to pulling that string up. But let me tell you one thing. Watch this bitch, boys. And let me get you over here and I'll zoom you in. So you gotta make sure you get your, your tensioner just perfect for the thread. But it goes like from here over to friggin here. Down through this loop. Here. Around her, boys. Through another little loop here. Through the wing ding bobber. Over to here to another little loop on the side here. And then down here into this loopage. And then through the needle. I'm gonna sew a little stitch here for you. I'm gonna show you how well this thing works. Let's get you somewhere a little better you can see. There it is. All right, so if you watch this thing, it's so friggin' smooth. We'll start at a zero on the doodad. What in the F? How did he caught it around that? Nice, smooth, steady. Oh, hold on. Cocked her over, boys. I think I pulled her out with my finger dinger. Friggin' right it did. Why wouldn't I? Ha! Seeks. Probably have to start all over again now because I probably cocked over the friggin' bobbin too. Nope, bobbin's still good. Oh my god. I gotta get my doodads, boys. So I can fucking thread the old needle here. I can't see fuck all. Let's try this again. So here we go. Check this out. So you got your tight one thread just giving her. Then you can go wide stitch, number one, which gives it a little jerk back and forward. Then you can go wide stitch two, three, four, five. There you go, that will show you. Now I'll go back to zero. There we go. And then we can go super fine. And then we can step her up a little bit, walk a little bit. Number 20 is about where I like it. Or 12 even. Look how fast she goes, boys. Ah, decent. This thing's like flawless. Like look at that thing go, man. Not even a friggin' missing a beat, boys. Friggin' right. Did you see that shit? Probably not because my hand was in the way. So there you go. That there is one hell of a machine and I'll show you the different stitches. So look at that. We got super fine and then we go, look at zigzaggy. Hey, see the zigzaggy boys? And then if you keep going, it zigzags even more, eh? I went a full blown zigzag. Full blown zigzag. I stand stilled right there. That's if you want to do a button. And then I gave her. And then if you go super fast, you get a little crease action, eh? Which is good for curtains, boys. Because you want it to crease up at the top. So, there you go. Just so you know, the zigzag 457 was made in 1969. So I looked at this model number, and this was uh, made in 1969, boys. So this machine was bought in 1969 by my mom. So that makes it 52 years old and it runs like that. Eh? Tell me you can't buy something today that runs like that. Frig no, leave your comments down below if you agree with me. And if not, then hey, it is what it is. But this machine is killer, boys. And you're gonna see another video coming up. I'm gonna finish the daughter's friggin' uh, curtains with it. This now belongs to the dirty old Bilsif. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button if you like antique vintage sewing with Bilsif. I looked up a few of these on the old YouTubes and I don't see any that are as in good a shape as this bad boy. Sure, she's a little yellowed at the top, but look at it. Look at the shape of that thing. Hey?
decent. Knob's a little dirty, but I can clean that. Careful, I can clean the knob, boys. But there she is. If you want to look at the model, there it is right there. Freaking right. Let's see you buy one that good nowadays. Not gonna happen. Frick, no, it's not. But anyways, hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am and not doing anything I ain't doing and uh, you know what to do for now.